Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Chiron conjunct the Sun in a natal horoscope. As most of you know, Chiron is associated with that wounded healer. It's an area or sector in our lives where we generally can emphasize strongly and accentuate with others, but we often have difficulty in helping ourselves in this particular area. I think a lot of times this is attributed to overcompensation, perhaps due to the fact that we put so much effort and expend so much energy into helping others in this particular department that we often neglect ourselves. I look at uh, Chiron as like a generational planet. It's not a planet. It's seen generally as an asteroid or planetoid. Uh, but as far as its effect on others, I look at this more uh, with more significance with the house placement opposed to the sign it resides in because Chiron traverses a sign for about four to five years on average so it doesn't I don't believe it has as much effect by the sign but it can flavor the house placement now anyway the first thing uh, with this we know the Sun is connected with uh, our ego our, our basic needs uh, when somebody has Chiron conjunct the Sun uh, this could be somebody that has experienced wounds, maybe some harsh blows uh, to the ego. Uh, perhaps uh, there were some difficulties maybe uh, with the father, some incompatibility. There might be some wounds from the association, uh, figurative wounds that is, with the association with the father. Perhaps there was a lack of rapport uh, between the two. Uh, or even if the person didn't have a biological father, the, I guess you could say the adopted father or that fatherly figure, that mentor, may not have seen eye to eye on many things and may have been diametrically uh, opposed on a number of things. Now, the sun also rules our energy and vitality. This could be somebody that might have maybe periodic states of sluggishness, lethargy, maybe a little more so than the average person. Uh, this could be a person that uh, we look at the sun as like a need to shine. We know it's uh, rules Leo, so we look at things connected with like flamboyancy, uh, ability to shine, uh, stand out. Uh, this could be a person that may um, perhaps help others uh, stand out in certain areas in their life. And this person may be able to stand out, so to speak, to some degree. Uh, as well, but more, but more so for helping others. Like for an example, let's say Chiron conjuncts the Sun in the sixth house of uh, of health. Now, this could be a person that goes on YouTube and makes workout videos, or does something in connection with health that they get notoriety for, such as writing uh, books or, um, on health. Which a good example would be maybe a Chiron conjunct the Sun in Gemini in the sixth house of health. Now, let's take now another example. Let's say that uh, we have uh, somebody with Chiron conjunct the sun in the tenth house of career, notoriety, livelihood. Now, this could be a person that might be uh, somebody that maybe gains some kind of recognition maybe for helping others uh, heal, quote unquote, heal wounds in connection with their careers and making them bounce back maybe from some adversity that they felt or, or something that hurt them in their uh, careers, the ability to maybe come back and, and maybe find, uh, find themselves through some kind of uh, career outlet and, and perhaps gain some notoriety for this, but at the same time this person that has the Sun conjunct Chiron may have experienced problems maybe putting themselves out in the spotlight to some degree and maybe didn't feel they got the accolades or recognition they deserved in uh, conjunction with uh, career matters but can help others maybe uh, deal with uh, maybe some situation that where they received uh, wounds in this particular area of their lives and help them out as far as career matters go. Now, look at this, um, look at this uh, aspect and the sun uh, represents uh, it's our inner character as opposed to the rising sign, which is most of us know is the facade or astrological mass. So there might be some wounds that are connected with the inner self 
that we maybe don't really, uh, we kind of suppress to some degree uh, whoever has this, this conjunction and perhaps uh, not a, in, perhaps it's not as readily seen as the Chiron conjunct the Ascendant because the Ascendant is what is conveyed more outwardly or I should say projected more outwardly uh, to other people so this is uh, basically that uh, that is pretty much it uh, for this um, astrological uh, YouTube segment for Chiron conjunct the Sun in a natal horoscope stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about Chiron sextile or trying the sun in a natal horoscope. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because a person astrologically is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.